As a child, did you see the hijab being practiced in your family and wider community? No. I was brought up around a lot of westernized people. I, there wasn't many Muslims in my area or actually, even in my school, there wasn't any. Just Arabic school, I'd see people. Uh, to be honest with you, no, I wasn't. So I, was, I, was, I, was, I was with the people where they weren't, they weren't wearing hijab. Open-minded, yeah? Yeah, well, that's part of it as well, to be fair. No, I was completely different. Everyone in my family wore hijab. I was so excited to wear hijab, like even in school. It was so multicultural, like literally most of it was Muslims. It's a good question. It's a very good question. Yes, I think I did. I, I saw um, a lot of the younger generation doing hijab. However, I have to say the, the older generation, my mom's generation and then above, they were not so into hijab. No. Well, I was surrounded a f well, with a family who were with hijab, actually. Religious as well. Yeah. Not religious, very, actually, very religious. but practicing, practicing their hijab. I part with my sister wearing hijab, but my mom wearing hijab, my auntie, all my cousins, my family, but everyone wearing hijab but around me. But you were religious. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's really wearing a bar apart from like a few people that I've seen. But the modern hijab these days, it's literally just been like hijab on your head, normal clothing everywhere else as long as you're kind of your skin's covered um i think the modern hijab is a farce okay <laughs> <laughs> nice I way mean, of putting it a bit, yeah it's, it's a bit... like everyone's in skinny jeans mm, not everyone i think that trousers are becoming more apparent yeah no, i like yeah. my wider trousers now i think in my opinion now it's just all about you know they're having these girls they have sort of the scarf they have a flower in the back or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And they just, you know, <laughs> their heads is just going all the way to the back. And then yeah. I'm just really looking at it thinking. Feels like her head heavy, actually. She can't even turn no, around. No, and, and, like, and, yeah. and, and, and what I, when I look at her, I'm just thinking, is that, she's, what? God, she's got a very long hair. It, it's actually quite unattractive. I almost find I'm, I'm put yeah. off by looking at them because it's just such a, a strange yeah. shape at times, you know, the head. But, you, you know, in, in Karbala, I don't know if you remember, but yeah. they actually have uh, written there before we enter into the, the haram area yeah. of uh, Imam Hussein. Oh, at the house. checkpoint. But at the checkpoint, they had pictures of a camel's hump and then, you know, a comparison picture of a girl with a huge beehive. Yeah. And they had written on there. I don't know if you remember about girls should not wear that because yeah. it's against Islam, it's not right for them to do. So yeah. they were trying to give a warning to the to the ladies. Do you think men are expected to follow hijab? If so, in what ways? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this question makes me laugh because it's like, what men, men don't even know the concept of hijab. They were wearing like tight t-shirts and like... And skinny jeans. Yeah, so why do men wear skinny jeans? You know, like, they're, they're not really even like... They, they can't even be wearing shorts. My guys go out in short <laughs> shorts. It's so bad. And they're so tight. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. Oh my God. <laughs> men, I think, have to... They have a double responsibility because I think men not only have to be careful of their hijab, which yeah. is lowering their gaze and navel to, to knee coverage, yeah. But also they have to understand what the women go through. You have to dress the, 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 the normal normal clothes which you are fully covered in the sense where like, you know, nowadays man's like showing all their toes and they're wearing jeans was cut. And then you know, they're wearing all these shirts where chests are showing. But that's a fashion. But yeah, but if you talk if you're talking about religious wise, yeah. You shouldn't be doing that. If you're talking about fashion, definitely, yes, definitely but in your religious right. wise, you shouldn't be doing that. That's my opinion. Men aren't expected to wear like a headscarf and yeah. that's, but you know, there are some places where there's such double standards um, in some societies where the woman is completely covered in, in head to toe, mm. but the, the man is, is wearing um, skinny jeans oh. and you know, and I, th I just think that's a little bit unfair. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. People are forgetting the men's hijab. People, yeah. Because we don't talk about it. No. no one focuses on that. Everyone has different opinions, to be honest. I think, I think to be fair, it depends as what, what other people they're wearing. 
and then that's how they can measure you based. When I came back from Iran in 2008, mm. I, I started doing the hijab. Mm. And my work colleagues, I was working at Stoke Mandible Hospital, and my work colleagues, mm. the joke, and they thought it was funny, like, what are you hiding under there? Yeah. You're obviously wearing it because you're hiding something. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, hmm. I, I hate the way Western societies, they kind of exoticize the right, hijab. Right. I, think it's, I think it's really, really inappropriate. It is. <laughs> With the half scarf, yeah? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I, I, I completely agree with you, actually. Yeah. I completely agree with you in that one. What, 21st century hijab, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, I completely yeah. agree that there's, there's girls that actually use it oh. as a fashion, unfortunately, but they, they don't have the meaning behind it, you know, they just be just standard oh, okay. ones. Well, it's nice on them. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's a sense, is it? I guess, I guess the girls want it to be a bit of beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they all think I'm a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, but realistically, it depends on the area that I go to. If it's like, if there's loads of Muslims or the, you know, it's very multicultural areas, everybody is fine. Um, no one really looks at me differently. But it's the trains. When I jump on a train, yeah, everyone's scared. But you get the whole carriage to yourself. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think hijab is interpreted differently according to the different cultures? Some take it really lenient and then some take it really strict depending on where they're from. I, I think it is because I think a lot of countries, a lot of cultures have always had their own form of hijab. Um, the Jewish have a form of hijab if you think about it. In Africa there's so many different forms of hijab. Um, yes, I, I really do. Um, mm. I see it differently. I don't see it as whether it, they, they take it very strictly or leniently. I just think it's the different ways of wearing hijab. Yes, I know it does actually. It depends on what culture, what background. Um, and nowadays, actually, um, girls use the hijabs in fashion. <laughs> With the different colours. <laughs> Do you think a beard represents Islam? Um... Isn't the beard becoming more in vogue now? I've, there's this trend, isn't there? So I don't think it's, it necessarily represents Islam, but I think many religious... I think all men should have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> the beard is the Muslim hijab If your men. beard is not six inches long, you're not religious enough. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it has to be like a fist long. Something like if you have it it's a fist hanging. long. Does it have to be? Yeah, it's, I think it's a fist long. Well, I believe it's part of the sunnah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I and I'll put and also say that, but unfortunately, some people using it as a, a you know, modeling. If you look at any photos that people make in Iran, you know, they they draw pictures of the imams. Yes, and they're always with a beard. Yes, they are because um, maybe the beard is like a natural hijab. I think so, and it, I think men are advised to have a bit of a beard. Yeah. So, well, it shows, um, you know, that kind of masculine. I think so. Nature to them. I think it's pretty nice. It's a, it, it unifies the men, though. My dad told me this joke where um, this guy says, "If you're intelligent enough, and it yeah. comes here." But then he was on the train. Something that got burnt or something. There was a whole thing. <laughs> okay, about I'm not it. even going to ask about that joke. But do I think it's hijab? No. It, if you think about it, it unifies them. Like women are unified with their hijab, hijab and men are. And men are sort of become unified when they have a, a similar beard as as the guidelines yeah. state. So, I think that it does. But no offense, it's not the beard down to there mm. with last week's dinner, and you know, when their bits of food get in, <laughs> which they can re-eat when they're hungry for a snack, right? <laughs> no, it's a bit gross. Yeah.